Hi, it's Corrine for Wild Orchid Crafts, and today I'm sharing with you the process of altering this large wood letter. It is an A for my niece Aurora's bedroom, and I got this large wooden letter from Amazon. I'll try and link it below. It's 15 inches tall, so it is a little hard to keep in frame during this video, but I do try my best. And it's an unfinished wood piece that I sprayed with Krylon flat white spray paint. And really a wooden letter like this should be sanded down, but I knew you wouldn't see any of that. So I just made sure, and I'm taking the credit for spray painting it, but actually my husband spray painted it for me. So we made sure that he got all the edges and the inside of the A because I knew that you would be able to see those in the end. So I'm pulling out some of my favorite flowers from Wild Arca Crafts. Absolutely love chrysanthemums. They come in so many different colors. And I didn't pull out any of the fall looking ones. I just kept what's they're very girly and the pastel colors. And I'm cutting off the stems of them and I do separate them. Here's a picture here. I separate them by which package they were in. That way I could keep track, track of them so I could list them for you down in the description box. I'm using my E6000 and hot glue. I love my hot glue gun because it will make the flowers adhere immediately, but the E6000 will make sure that they stay on for a long time. You do want to use the E6000 in a well ventilated area because it is a little bit stinky. So I'm just going through and just randomly choosing some from each pile and just making sure I have a good mixture of colors and then adding a little bit of the E6000 and then the hot glue and adhering it down. There wasn't much more to it. I did in the end also add some beautiful pearls from Wild Orchid Crafts in two different sizes. So you'll see me do that and you will see me use my heat gun at the end. That just helps get rid of any hot glue strings that may be hanging around from using the hot glue gun. I do also add some satin ribbon and hopefully you'll see, stay tuned and see the detailed photos at the end. I do a few close up photos where you can see the pearls that I added throughout. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. I hope you stay for the full process of it. And please stop by Wild Orchid Crafts. They always have the most amazing products and sales going. So check them out. The description, the link will be in the description box. I hope you guys enjoy and thanks so much for stopping by. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.